much, a bit too much, a bit too much, there's a bit too much, oh, a bit too much, drink a bit too much, smoke, a bit too much, pink and a bit too much, coke, a bit too much, a bit too much, a bit too much, it's a bit too much, oh, way too much, but he ended up in the grave, guess it's not what is my best friend face, Posted up on the Facebook page for the House of Horror channel a couple days ago, asking people to give recommendations from 90s horror films that they liked, and uh, I'd review them on the channel. So I, you know, offer you guys to do the same thing. Please, if you have any 90s horror films that you really enjoy, please post them down below, and I'll do my best to to review them. Unless I really just don't like those movies, but chances are I, I probably like whatever you're gonna recommend. But uh, yeah, this is one recommended by my buddy RJ. He actually used to be a uh, reviewer on the House of Horror, so it's kind of appropriate that I take his recommendation. This is The Dentist, and I've seen this movie before. It's been probably two, three years since I've seen it last. The Dentist from 1996. This is, uh, of course, a Brian Usna joint, directed, produced, and everything. And uh, I was looking at some of his producer credits, and he's actually, like, some of the recent films I've been talking about, he was producer on, like, I think Body Parts and Warlock, both he was a, a producer on those films. But I'm a huge Brian Usna fan. I'll probably go ahead and review a few more of his movies on here. Of course, he, you know, well-known for Reanimator, and he continued the, the Reanimator franchise, Bride of Reanimator, and also, uh, I think, Beyond Reanimator. And I'm a fan of both those movies. But, um, yeah, The Dentist stars Corbin Burnson, Linda Hoffman, and the one and only Ken Foray. And uh, I'm a big fan of The Dentist, and I, and I think the reason why it is so good, one of the main reasons is because of Corbin Burnson. Of course, he's a, uh, a pretty a pretty damn good actor, but uh, he, he pulls off what they were going for. You know, it's kind of a, this is like a black comedy, really, but some of the times it goes really over the top with the comedy and other times it goes really serious and I think it's uh, I don't know it's uh, it works well for this movie but I think a lot of times it, it wouldn't necessarily work that well but uh, you know a lot of people that aren't horror fans are probably not going to like this movie at all of course it plays on the fears of you know everybody being afraid to go to the dentist or whatever and uh, you know just a really really fun fun watch you know easy movie to pop in and uh, watch all the way through. Decent gore uh, in it. Uh, basic premise. I'm not going to go too deep. I don't want to spoil too much, but Colbert Burnson plays uh, Dr. Alan Feinstone, and he is a uh, really like like OCD dentist who is uh, takes his work really seriously. He's really, you know, really immaculate. You know, everything's got to be perfectly clean, and he, uh, you know, he's really good at what he does, but he catches his, his wife, uh, young, attractive wife, is uh, having sex with the pool boy. And uh, he just goes bonkers, you know, falls off the deep end, starts popping all kinds of pills. And I don't know what all he's taking, but popping all sorts of uh, prescription medicines and just starts murdering people. And that's, you know, that's the basic premise of the film. But it's really cool because it, a lot of it, you don't know what's real and what's not real. It keeps kind of fading between reality and what he thinks is reality. But um, yeah, just basically goes through murdering people, murders pretty much pretty much everybody in the whole movie. So uh, a lot of fun. And there's a uh, another plot line that deals with the IRS agent, and uh, he's, he's being audited, and he uh, does some work on this fellow, and that's that's kind of cool because. Everybody loves the IRS, and uh, it's fun to see. But um, just a really fun watch. I'd highly recommend it to you guys. Most of you guys that you know watch the reviews on this channel are probably going to love this one, and you've probably already seen it. But if you haven't, I'd check it out. You know, it is Brian Usna, and he's well known for you know shoestring budgets and shooting really quickly. And this film is the same. You know, it's it's cheesy. It's got some bad acting in there, but it's uh, you know it's a fun watch. And, uh, you know, that's about all I can say about it. It's, uh, it's you know, good time. But uh, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, let me know if you have any other favorite favorite horror films of the 90s. Because I really want to delve into this. Because, you know, I've always preached the same thing. There's a lot, of, a lot of good films, good gems, diamonds in the rough that people don't mention. And, you know, this is one of them, The Dentist. But, um, 
I still believe that, and I'll uh, you know I'll say that forever because 90s was kind of it was you know obviously at the end of the 80s it was sucking that part of the horror genre dry, but at the same time you know I hold a lot of those films near and dear because they still use practical effects and a lot of them still feel like 80s movies to me. You know this one as well, but. Please let me know if you have any recommendations. I'll do my best to review them all here on the channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Peace.